everybody we are back for a Monday mini here um, if you've been here before then you know that we are gonna paint something beautiful in under 30 minutes uh, which is great for um, time management so I know a lot of times we just feel like we don't have enough time to paint although we love it or it relaxes us it's you know good for our mental state to just kind of be in the zone of painting and not be thinking about you know what we have to do tomorrow or next or what we have done yesterday so um, if you're new to my channel and you're checking out this Monday mini welcome and I really hope you enjoy it so we're gonna get started so I will have the supply list um, down in the description so we're just gonna start um, you'll see my supplies as I go and then there will be that uh, list in there for you so we're gonna start by just putting some paint on our plates and um, I'm going to start with maybe a, let's see here, I have a light blue violet, which I really love. So we're going to get that on our plate. And I'm going to put some white. I have a little bit of unbleached titanium here, or you could use a cream color. And let's see what else. I have some magenta, which is just like a really vibrant, vibrant pink color. And I'm gonna start with that. And I'm gonna also take my large flat brush for this part. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a sky and then I'm gonna have some water down here. So we are going to create a sky and we're gonna separate the water from it. So what I'm gonna do is just put a little line of where I want that separation to be. I can go into any color. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that violet and we're gonna go a little bit more, a little bit tiny more sky than, than the water or the land. So I'm just gonna come across here like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, we are painting present over perfect today. So we're not looking to be perfect, we're looking to be present, enjoying each moment while we paint. So I'm gonna come in with some of this unbleached titanium and I'm gonna turn my, um, my book here a little bit and I'm gonna work almost on a diagonal for the sky and we're gonna bring the water in straight. So horizontal, this one's gonna be diagonally. And I'm just gonna come across here and just do little back and forth swoops with that unbleached titanium. I'm gonna grab some of that white, and bring it in. And we're just doing, instead of doing really long strokes, we're just doing little tiny strokes because we wanna have those colors this is a way instead of having the colors blend straight across from one side to the next, um, they're going to be kind of intermingled into the center. So we want to do this while it's wet. That way it blends nicely. I'm going to grab a little bit of that blue violet. Go in with a little bit more white. And I want to take, I'm going to add a little bit of this magenta but I don't want it to be that bright because I'm doing kind of more of like a pastel look like I said for these Monday minis you're free to do whatever you like so if you like want to do more of a bold look you can I do generally like bold better but I thought we could mix it up a little bit today and bring in a little bit of that pink across here so it's a little bit dry it's not gonna blend as well I'm gonna go in with some white again and blend that out we're just going to go back and forth between these colors. So going to have a nice array of colors and you're going to have some of those colors still left on your brush. So as you push down, um, some of those might get incorporated into your sky. I'm just doing little tiny strokes here, back and forth. And I'm not 
crushing down too hard. I'm staying pretty light. And don't worry about going over this line a little bit. We're going to be painting over it. And where the colors meet, you just want to go over and over and over and that's how it's going to blend in a bit. So it's not kind of just laying on top. It's blending in nicely. We're just going to make sure we go all the way to the end. You'll see at the end here a little bit of pink came in. I just pushed harder on my brush. So when you have, when you're painting, your paint is moving down your br uh, brush. And so the harder you push down, all those colors, you can see them here, all those colors are pushing down. So if you push a little bit harder on your brush, you're gonna be able to incorporate some of those colors you've already used. I'll come back up over here and blend this out a little bit better. And I'm going to leave that like that. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my brush. And keep in mind, you can use different colors. So if you want to not have, you know, like those, you know, pinks in there, you could do like a bright orange or yellow. If you want to have um, more of like a summer daytime sky, you could do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get some... I have some phthalo blue here, so I'm gonna put that on my plate. And I'm just gonna grab a lighter color as well. So you could either add white to your blue and you can lighten it that way. I have this, um, it says turquoise, but it's more like an aqua here. I'm gonna add some of that to my blue. So we're gonna put, bring in a couple different shades here. And I'm gonna stick with this large flat brush still. So I'm going to come in um, right across this line here. We're going to go across that we created with that dark blue. And then this is when we can add some of that aqua. So you can just kind of put it on your brush. So we already have the blue on our brush. I just bringing some aqua in, kind of mixing it up. And then we can come in with some lighter tones. So I don't want the lighter tones all straight across. I don't want it to be like straight lines of color. So I'm gonna grab some of that dark blue again and bring it back in. You can also pick a source of sunlight. So say you have, you know, your light coming from the center here. You can always make the center of the water a little bit lighter as you're coming down. You can kind of just create a little bit more of the light coming from the center. Make your edges a little bit darker.
just stick in that lighter color down the middle and then coming through with some of our dark phthalo blue. If you have a navy blue, you could use that. Any dark blue is fine. We can leave that like that so you can kind of see the natural light coming through the center. I'm going to rinse out my brush and then I'm going to go ahead and blow dry this. So you can go ahead and blow dry yours. I'll meet you back here for our next steps. So we are back, we are going to um, put some black on our plate here. We're gonna create some little islands in our painting. So we can go ahead and grab our filbert brush. Our filbert brush is just more round on the edge than our flat brush. And we're gonna be making um, some little kind of islands on the side here. So I'm gonna go ahead and with my black we're gonna stick along this line, straight along this line here, and we're just gonna push out. So we wanna leave the edge, you know, kind of like it's going into the water. And we're just gonna come across, and when we get to the edge, we're just gonna do one swipe out and then come back in. We don't want a nice even edge, it's kind of like the shadows in the water. I'm gonna bring this shadow just out a little bit more here. And I'm gonna leave that side. So we have one side here. I'm gonna bring in another one on this side. They don't have to match. You can have them, you know, a little bit different on each side. I'm gonna leave that one like that. So two darker sides, and then I'm gonna bring in just a little bit of land at the bottom here. So just a little where we can see a little bit of that land. We don't have to make it even, just little kind of hills rolling up. Just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and rinse up my brush. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some, um, Let's see if we got here. We got some lime green. I have some teal. I think that's all the greens I have. I'm gonna throw a little bit of yellow on here too. So I have some yellow as well. We're gonna put these three colors on our plate. start, I have some black still on my plate, so I'm going to switch to my little round brush. This is a size four that I have, and I'm going to water down a little bit of black. I 
And we're just gonna bring up from here some um, dark, almost like, we're gonna be doing some cattails. So we're gonna be bringing up some some kind of like squiggly lines they don't all have to be straight they can be going over top of each other I'm just gonna leave that like that and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so just if you find like you're running out of paint just go ahead and add a little bit more water into your black I'm going to be doing the same thing down here. So just bringing up some little just all along here. Don't be shy to go back into your water with, if you need to water down your black a little bit. When we're done that, we can rinse off our brush. And we can go into our teal. So now we're gonna be doing this with teal. Um, I'm not gonna water this one down unless I find it's a little bit thick, but we'll see. And we are gonna be just coming up with, we're gonna come a little bit lower into the land here. And we're gonna be bringing in some teal. I went back into my black. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and do that for this side. Just kind of doing the same thing that we did. We're gonna be doing this with a few different colors. And this is great for beginners because we're just really putting, just putting some lines in here and it's gonna look so pretty when we're finished. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my brush again and we are gonna go into um, some lime green we can do. And I'm just trying to fill in some of the spaces that didn't, you know, get anything put into them already. We can go over top, but 
just also filling in those empty spaces. And then I'm going to come in with some of this teal here, some yellow. Let's bring in a little bit of that aqua too and see what we get. So just making a different color green. You start to see that nice starting to look really full. Okay, so we can leave that like that. And then we're just gonna bring in some cattails. So we can start with some black here and we can bring up a couple of these black ones a little bit higher if we want. So maybe they come up a little bit like this and then um, we're gonna put a little end on them. So little cattails are a little bit thicker here. So I'm just gonna build on both sides and fill that in. We have a little cattail there. Maybe a little bit of a shorter one here. We can even put some in here so maybe we have one coming up a little bit taller so basically just creating a bracket on each side I 
And if you wanted to put like a little highlight in here, we can. And then I'm just gonna leave the rest of this. Because this is a beginner um, tutorial, I don't wanna make anybody feel too stressed about too many details right now. But we can put a little tiny highlight in so you could come in with, um, you could come in with browns for the cattails or you could come in with just your greens here since we already have it out. And we're just gonna take the excess off our brush and we can just come in with, you know, a little highlight to the side. We're gonna do this side because we are putting our, our focus of our sun down the center. And then we'll do this side. So you could always feel free to go ahead and put something in the sky if you would like to put an actual sun, you could. You can put reflections in the water put birds in the sky. I'm gonna leave it here and let your creativity kind of take, um, you know, its own uh, direction and see what you come up with. So um, thank you so much for joining me. If you have painted this painting and you enjoyed it, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you'll know um, when the next Monday Mini is coming. Also, if you would like to leave a comment below about your favorite part of this painting, that would be awesome. So I will see everybody soon and have a great day.